what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel in this video i want to teach you how to fix a problem that i'm sure 99 percent of you has encountered while creating spring boot applications and mainly working with spring data jpa so this issue is mainly about when you try to load an entity that has a relationship with another one so let's take the example of the relationship of type many to one and one to many so this means when you load the first entity you have a list linked to that entity and the entity it has also the other one like the list of the other entity has also a reference to the parent entity so we have an infinite loop recursion when we try to fetch one of them so for example let's say we want to fetch an object a class like where where class linked to many students so for class we will fetch the class and we will fetch the list of the students and the student it has a reference to the class so it will also fetch the class and the class it will fetch again the students and so and so forth so this will create an infinite recursion loop so this will land to an exception and the application will fail to run in this video i'm going to explain to you how to fix that also i want to mention that this video is part of the brand new course that i'm working on right now so i'm just going to leave it a surprise for you so if you want to be part of it just go ahead and create your account on my website i will leave you all the links in the description below of this video so you will be part of it so because i'm going to notify everyone via email so don't miss this opportunity don't miss the massive course that i'm working on right now so it's going to be something really really crazy and important it will cover everything so i will not give so much details for now i will announce it later on when the course is ready to be published before we start if you're new to my channel of course let's follow the same ritual go ahead subscribe to my channel don't forget to leave a comment if you like the video or not and also don't forget to share this video with your friends so thank you so much again and now let's really start so our application is up and running now let's move to postman and test the the school controller and try to insert some schools and then let's go and insert also some students now let's duplicate this tab and then instead of students it will be schools and in the body we will need only one attribute which is the name so let's just change this one and let's call it alibu school and here all i need to do is to click on send and here we see that we have a 200 okay so this means that the school was inserted and we see that we have the id and the student for now it's not because we don't have any students assigned to this school yet also let's go to the database and check that so here if i refresh my database and open the school table we see that we have the school that we just inserted called alibu school now if i want to insert a student so let's see the structure we have right here we have the first name last name email and age and also we have an object called school so let's go to postman and structure and create an object of type student to insert the student and assign it to the school that we just created so here let's go back to the first tab where we have the school the students to insert and here i all i need to do is to add another attribute of type school and this one is an object so here and all i need to provide is the id because spring data jpa uses the id to insert an object as you can see the school that we inserted has the id equals one so this is all we need to provide so here we have the school and the id you can also provide the name and so on and so forth but it will not affect anything because hibernate and spring data jpa only needs the id so now let's cl let's click on send and we see now this is the result so first we have a 200 okay and here we have the id with the first name last name and the student profile for now it's null and we see that we have the school which is id equals one name student and the name and the student is null so this is also is not a problem now if i go back and duplicate the school request and change it to a get and of course for the body we don't have anything and i click on send 
and here we see that we don't have a response yet and this is because here we have let's let's understand the structure let's go back to the code and let me open the student and the school so here we have the school object and the school object it has a list of students okay and then it will try to get the school and the students list and then from the student it will try also to load the school information and then it will go back to the school and it will try to load the list of students and so on and so forth so we have here an infinite loop and this is because hibernate will, will try to load all the information altogether. so let me show you how we can fix that before fixing the problem let's have a look on the exception so here i will use this uh, soft wrap just to have everything wrapped and here we see that we have this main exception and failure trying to resolve exception from this uh, spring framework and call send error after this response and this means that we encounter, encountered uh, an infinite recursion with the, with the json mapping so here when jackson tries to map the, the object so when it tries to map or to transform or to create a JSON response for the school it has a list of student and then as I explained before it will go to the student and then the student has also an object of type school so it will try also to um, to serialize the school and back again so we have an infinite recursion loop so or an infinite loop and let me show you how we can fix that using the Jackson annotations so for this one we will be using two annotations one on the parent level and the second one on the on the child level so the the parent level is where we have the list so the school is the parent of the students I'm gonna make this one full screen and here on the list level we, we need to use an annotation called JSON managed reference and this JSON managed reference so this tells Jackson that the parent is in charge of serializing the child and it prevents the child from trying to serialize the parent. Now, so we need the JSON managed reference on the parent level and then we need to go to the child level which is the student right here and we need to go to the field of type school and here we need an annotation called JSON back reference. So this is the back reference or this will tell that this entity, the student entity or the student object doesn't need to serialize the parent which is in our, in our case the school. So now let's restart the application again and let's go back to Postman and try to insert the data once again. So here the application is up and running. So also let me keep it like this. I will clean up the console. So here again we need to insert the school and insert the student and assign it to the school and now if I try to fetch all schools and I click on send we see that we have a response and we have the status 200 ok and here we see that we have the ID and the school name and then we have the list of the students so for example if I insert a new student so here let's say uh, contact 2 and within the same school ID and here let's say Ali Bo Ali and I will click on send so the school the student is correctly inserted and now if I fetch again the list of schools we see that we have the school with the ID number one and we have the list of students we have this ID 2 it's the student we just inserted and we have the first one which is John Bo Ali and with this email address so now we have our application functioning but there is one thing which is a little bit uh, not okay with all that is because we are exposing almost everything and even when we want to insert a student we have or we need to provide the full school object and imagine that we have other relationships within the school within the student like for example the student profile and imagine we have subjects and so on and so forth so this will make our object or our student object more and more complex and it will prevent us and it will add more complexity when we want to save or to interact with the student entity so this is introducing us to a really important topic we will see just in few moments so let's move on and ex explore the next topic of our course that was it for this video i hope you liked it 
I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from this video. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, join me on social media, and especially don't forget to join my website, subscribe there and create your account first to take advantage of the free courses that I'm publishing there. And second, just be on the waiting list for the massive course that I will be releasing soon enough. So let's give the surprise and I will notify everyone when the time comes. So thank you so much and see you next time.